Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the Your Daily Prayer podcast. We hope these few moments of prayer and reflection are encouraging to you as you go about your day. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone during the week, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast. To find more prayers, devotional content, and blog posts, we would love for you to join us at iBelieve.com. A Prayer for When You've Lost Everything Written by Jennifer Maggio and read by Kelly Gibbons We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. 2 Corinthians 4, 8-10 through It was 3.30 in the morning when I received the call that changed everything. Jennifer, you need to get out of the house. Your neighborhood is flooding. My friend sobbed hysterically. Unsure if I was dreaming, I stumbled from my bed, down the hall, and out my front door. Floodwaters were pouring into my neighborhood more quickly than I can even describe. Within 20 minutes, we were loaded in the car and fleeing the scene. It only took a matter of hours for the Great Louisiana Flood of 2016 to overtake my home and wash away virtually everything I owned. Baby pictures, wedding albums, my children's first letters, everything. There is someone reading this who is there, right now. You have lost everything. You feel you can't go on. You are certain no one sees you. I'm writing this for you today. I'm writing to tell you some important things for you to know when you lose everything. You haven't lost everything. It may seem like it today. It may seem like the dark cloud has followed you way too long. Maybe you've lost a great deal in a short period of time. Maybe you lost your job, or your health is failing, or your mom just died. I don't know what your loss looks like today, and I wouldn't dare minimize it. Take time to grieve the loss. Take your time. Let time heal the wounds of loss. But please know you haven't lost everything. God is with you. As a born-again child of the King, your salvation isn't lost. Your future beyond this earth is secure. It doesn't matter how you feel today. It doesn't matter if you can't feel God's presence. Feelings are temporal and fleeting. What is true is that He is with you. Satan would like nothing more than to convince you otherwise. There are thousands of lies that Satan will whisper in your ear. But that's just it. They are lies. Lies from the pit of hell designed strategically to hold you down, destroy you, steal your hope, and kill the joy of your future. Do not stand for it. You have been given the authority to stand firm against the lies of the enemy. You have the authority to cast down his plans of attack against you. Know that you are God's beloved. He sees you. He loves you. You are not alone. Here's a prayer you can pray for when you've lost everything. Lord, I'll just be honest. I feel like everything good has been taken from me. And I feel like you've let it happen. Can I admit that to you? Thank you for being big enough to handle all my fears, angers, and uncertainties. Lord, thank you for this truth. I am afflicted in every way, but not crushed perplexed but not driven to despair, struck down but not destroyed. Lord, help me. Give me your spirit. Help me know your goodness even in the midst of this pain. Help me out of this pit, Lord, and onto sturdy ground. Thank you, God, for never leaving me. Help me only have hope in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.